What's up everybody, welcome to your 18th JavaScript tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to style strings. If you remember, we did one style last time where we changed our string, hello Bob, and we changed it to uppercase. As you can see over here, it took the lowercase and changed it to uppercase. But this time I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do some more styling and I'm also also going to be filling in this parameter last time I said that we're, we had an empty parameter and don't worry about it and this time we're gonna fill that in with something so as you can see to uppercase is not the only built in style that we have we also have styles such as bold which you see if we save this it changes hello bob so guys welcome to your 19th javascript tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys a very useful tool when working with objects and that's the index of and what this does is when you have a long string it finds the first occurrence of whatever it is you're looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and make this string a little longer I'm gonna go hello Bob my name is Susie and what you do is instead of changing the value what we're going to do is look for the first occurrence of whatever we want to look for in a string so let's say we want to look for when the word Bob starts so instead of putting your whatever you're going to change in right here such as font color you want to type in the word index of and in these parameters you're going to want to find whatever it is you're looking for so right now let's look for Bob hello everyone welcome to my 20th tutorial in JavaScript so I hope you uh, learned something by now and uh, I'm gonna be talking to you guys today about another object another uh, feature in objects and this is called the match and what this does is it allows you to tell JavaScript alright we're looking for something and if it is included in here or if it's matched in here we want you to output it on the screen as you can see the index of just gave us the placement of it now we want to say alright if we have a word and we and it matches then tell us that it matches and this might not seem useful right now but once we get into programming which is probably in a couple tutorials then I'll show you how it's really useful with verifying forms and stuff like that so as you can see last time, hopefully you watched my last tutorials, instead of index of after our string, instead of index of we What's up guys, welcome to my 21st tutorial in JavaScript. And I promise this is my last tutorial in how to style strings, and this is probably one of the most useful tools that I'm gonna teach you, and that's the replace tool. Now as you can see, last time we learned about mesh that just you typed in whatever you wanted to match in empty parameters and it will either give you the output of that same thing or it will say no. And this time what we're going to learn to do is replace one of these words with another word. So for instance, well let me just show you guys how to do this. Instead of the word match, let's type replace. And pay attention to my syntax because what you put in your parameter is a lot different than what you put before. In your empty parameter, you first type. What's up, everybody, and welcome to your second, 22nd JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over some very basic math objects and basic math functions that you guys are going to be using in your future programming. Now, this is going to be a real quick tutorial because the rest of the tutorials from here on out are going to be pretty advanced. So this is probably going to be one of your last basic tutorials. And again, in this tutorial, we're going to be using another object. And we're going to be working with the document right object to be using the math function with some built-in functions such as round and random. So let's get started. And uh, the first thing that we want to type is document. And this tells JavaScript that we're going to be working on the web page itself. JavaScript calls that the document. And we're going to want to write something on it. So just 
uh, put right. We uh, use alert before, but since we're going to be, and we could put alert right here. Well, actually, uh, this will make it a lot easier. Just do this. So never mind the last couple things I said. But uh, as you can see, in your object, which this is a browser object, this is part of the browser. You're going to want to add two empty parameters. Now, inside those parameters, since we're using a math function, type in the word math. Now, the next thing you type after this is going to be different. All math functions begin with the word math, and then you type the period, 